Yo, what is up? This is day, what is it, 54, I think? And I'm just parked here waiting for my kids. And uh, today was a day, man. This morning, I think I had like an exertion issue or failure where I like started seeing spots in my right eye and like I lost some vision for a little bit. And I was kind of dizzy and lightheaded and that stuff. And I, I just kind of pushed through the workout. And then afterwards, I was just brain foggy and slow and had a migraine for a couple of hours. Um, I ended up taking some acetaminophen and that really like quickly got me out of that migraine uh, in the brain fog. And I ended up doing a little bit more research and it seems like just overexertion is probably what happened. Like I wasn't breathing. I tend to have low blood pressure. So that combined with not breathing during a really hard exercise. I think I uh, exerted myself too hard and, you know, caused some distress in my brain or head or something. Um, I don't think it was a stroke. I didn't have like any slurred speech. My balance and physicality was fine. It was just that like I couldn't see on the right side of my right eye. And it was kind of like, you know, stars. And I just felt exhausted and tired. So I think that was a weird thing that happened to me today. We'll keep, we'll keep watch on it because who knows what it could be. You know, I didn't want to go to the doctor just because it seemed like the acetaminophen helped out, which I chose acetaminophen as a blood thinner and as opposed to ibuprofen because I didn't want to reduce swelling because I was just training, but acetaminophen could, could help out with the headache the migraine. And if there was the risk of stroke, like acetaminophen would be really helpful. So that's why I hopped in on that. But man, it was a rough day. I almost was nauseous at one point and then not feeling great and almost came home, but the acetaminophen helped. And then now I'm doing fine. So we'll keep track of it. We'll see. Tomorrow's a rest day. So I should get some good rest in, um, which will be good. So, but that was alarming. You can see over on Twitch. I'm probably clip it where I'm just like, whoa, I just like ended the stream too. I finished the workout, but I just like, I was like, I can't talk. I can't do this. It's kind of crazy. Dude, it's getting hot in here. I'm like sweating balls. Yeah. I don't know. I want to be healthy, but I don't want to push it in a way that hurts myself. So I got to make sure that I don't do that. I got to be real careful with how I push and what I do because I want to be able to do this for another 40 years. You know, I want to still be healthy. And I want to be around. I want to be around for my kids and my grandkids and my wife. You know? Like, that's the real deal. To be around and to be healthy. So, let's see. Are the kids going? We'll call that a day. And uh, we'll head over there to pick up the kids, I think, maybe. Training was good, though, aside from uh, maybe having a stroke or some kind of brain issue. You know, just blood pressure. Low blood pressure. Overexertion seeing stars, but we're back at it. We're back on it. We're here. We're going to keep progressively overloading and making sure that things are going well. I am kind of evaluating Twitch though. Like is Twitch something I want to do? I mean, I have so much fun with it. I, you know, training in the morning, but does it help my other goals? Like my business goals, my training goals and whatnot. So I got to kind of figure that out and decide. So all right. That's it. Day 54. Thanks for hanging. We'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully I have an update and everything's doing great. All right. Do good, be great. See you next time. Sayonara. Bye.